when the doctor tells you that you can't do surgery because of the spread of the cancer and the chemo that you will be using that it's not curative that it's not a cure for your situation and even when the geneticist says hey this is random this isn't from an inherited thing that's been passed along from family it's not environmental it's random you find yourself in a situation where you can only recognize that the, the solution to this, the answer to this, is only through God the Father. God has shown up on my behalf in so many ways, uh, financially, in relationships, with regard to dreams and hopes and aspirations, simply answering certain prayers. Uh, and, and so I think that has been a good nurture for me to be in a place that I have to step up. Uh, when I identify myself as a follower of Christ, a disciple of Christ, a Christian, uh, I don't have any other choice than to believe in the promises of the Father, to, to believe in the scriptures, to believe that the one who says he's with me to the end of the age is with me now. When tidbits of your life start to look like bits of Bible stories or the testimonies of those who have come before you. You have no choice other than to walk in the belief and the confidence that one, God is sovereign, that you are His and He is yours, and that His promises for you are true. By His stripes, you are healed. It's His desire that you would prosper in health in all things as your soul prospers. It's His desire and it's His promise that if you ask, seek, and knock, uh, he will answer that if you uh, delight yourself in him He would give you the desires of your heart And so when you begin to think about your relationship with the Christ and the study and the believing and your immersion in that Relationship with him you don't have the choice to look left or right But only to look straight ahead and to trust that he is the God of your healing for me This it's it's a cancer journey right now uh, but I am fully believing uh, that in the face of being told I'm going to be using chemo uh, all of my life, being told that the chemo isn't curative, it's just something that sustains or controls. Um, in order to have a full and abundant life, uh, I, it's, it's going to come through the Christ, through God the Father. That's my absolute belief. And so I encourage others, whatever your circumstance, whatever the thing is that you're walking through, especially if you call yourself Christian, you get in the flow, see the opportunity that's in front of you, you know, kiss this wave, so to speak, see this challenge that's in front of you through the eyes, through the lens of your relationship with the one who is sovereign and absolutely in control. And I think in that I found a bit of peace. I can focus on the work he's called me to. I can focus on family and friends and living this full life experience, believing that he's handling the peripheral issue that is this cancer. He is the one who defines my identity. And if my identity is as his, then again, I have no other choice than to believe in him. And so I encourage uh, any believer, stand steadfast in those belief, in those promises. I encourage anyone who has not yet tasted and seen just how good the Christ is, uh, to bring him your circumstance and see how it's his desire to love you through it. And uh, it will change your life and your perspective forever. This is the wave that I'm kissing right now, and I'll stand on his promises. I'll believe in his promises. And I look forward to the celebration when I can say to the congregation and all of you who have been praying for me and with me and supporting me, hey, it is finished, the Father has moved, let's get on with the next thing.